so I just wanted to share the last couple of minutes of a hardcore survival run that I've just done. And unfortunately, I didn't record the whole thing. Generally, I don't record the hardcore runs because it gets so frantic that I can't really do meaningful commentary over it as I'm playing the game. Uh, but basically, what happened in this one is I, I just got really lucky with a lot of the events. So I got my first uh, electric storm pretty late in. I think it was after the 40 minute mark somewhere. So for the first 30 minutes, I was able to reasonably well keep things together. And I was also quite lucky in that the main generator never got damaged. So usually when that gets damaged, it, it causes a lot of issues for me. But in this case, that didn't happen. Um, but what you're witnessing now is sort of the last couple of minutes. And this is the second electric storm where uh, basically everything got taken out. There was nothing else left to do at this point. My oxygen system was broken. Um, a lot of the other systems were broken as well. And it was getting to the point where I literally had to vent out uh, the remaining oxygen in the bottles just to keep the CO2 from building up. And uh, as you can see here, basically the CO2 is very high. There's no other way for me to get rid of it at this point. The pressure is also very high because of me uh, venting that into the pod. Uh, but this is the furthest I've come in terms of the hardcore mode. And then something else that happened in this run that was quite in interesting was the the normal sort of hot event where the temperature increases. I got one of those where the temperature didn't increase too much. So yeah, this was the result of it. Basically, this put me into the number 11 spot. So I just missed out on the top 10 for this one. But I think it will be a while before I'll be able to do another hardcore run like this. Uh, I may be doing some hardcore runs in terms of Let's Plays in the future, and I'll see if I can record the gameplay footage first and just do the voiceover after, because in the hardcore run, you have to really concentrate on what's going on. But those runs are more interesting because there's a lot more that happens and breaks, so I'm keen to upload some of those in the future.